Oh no, you don't! Damn internet censorship. They think they can get away with anything these days. Censoring this video just because I'm wearing a trade name. Well, I ain't having it. Hmm. Well, now, what, what does that sound familiar? I'm sure I've heard that somewhere before. Anyway, now that's all behind us. Let's have a look at what's going on lately in Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, well I said I'd look for that microphone preamp and I found it. And as a matter of fact, the sound you can hear is going through this little preamp right now. In fact, if I touch one of these wires, see if I can get inject a, some noise into it. You can pretty much see that I've got it powered off this transformer with the little custom power supply that I made that you might remember from a previous video. It seems to be working pretty good. Also got the output connected up to the scope. And although it looks a little bit weird on the camera because of the refresh rate, I should try and zoom in, zoom in on that. Don't know how well you we can see that, but there's practically, well, I see absolutely no signs of clipping when I'm talking. Uh, yep, that sounds pretty good. Still got the two filter switches. This is the high cut filter. When I turn that on, you might notice that there is a loss of high frequencies. And this one is the low cut filter. When I turn this one on, you might be able to notice that the low frequencies are now attenuated. And this little control here is to set how much output from the preamp gets into the AGC circuit. So this circuit appears to be working really good. I don't know what sort of compression ratio this circuit has, but it works. Now let's just do a little bit of a test of how stable the power supply is. Got the scope connected right here before it enters the regulator. Mum's angry at the cat, I don't know if you heard that. See, we put it on to DC, I've got this on about 5 volts per division. So we've got 5, 10, 15 about 20 volts. So there is a little bit of ripple there, but um, it's nowhere near bad enough to make the regulator so it can't regulate. So it doesn't fall below about 15 volts, so that's pretty good. Okay, let's just see what, how much ripple we actually do have. Okay, there's our ripple. See if we can measure it. Okay, it's about one two, three, about three divisions, and I've got this on 0.1 volts per division, so we'll say that's about 300 millivolts of ripple, and that's just fine, because the output from the regulator is still perfectly, absolutely flat. So I think the next thing to do is put this in a nice little enclosure, and I'll have a nice little microphone preamp for my videos. And here is the schematic for those of you interested in it. This is the power supply, and this is that special voltage doubling rectifier that I've used because the transformer I selected couldn't provide enough voltage, and that seems to work pretty good. There's the rectifier um, regulator, which is a L7912, one of those things that you find in just about everything. Keeps the voltage at a nice steady 12 volts. Here is the preamp, uses an op amp. I've used a 741. I chose a 741 because that's what I had lying around at the time. There's the high and low cut filters. And this little thing right here is the sensitivity control. I think I called it gain earlier, but it's really for the sensitivity. And last but not least, the AGC circuit. The original schematic states that I should use BC108 transistors, but I found that BC547s work just as good which is what I'm using here, and that's about it really, hope you can see that clearly enough. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of this video. Okay, well, 
Here it is, partially assembled. And again, you're hearing the sound through this thing because it is plugged in and wired up. There's the transformer, there's the rectifier, there's the regulator, there's the preamp, and there's the automatic level control. I was a little worried that the transformer might interfere with it, but it seems to be doing a pretty hum-free sound. As you can hear, so what I've just got to do is put all this other stuff on it. And here is the finished product. As you can see, very simple. Got a few switches here and a light. That's a proper neon light. That's not an LED. Had a few of those around, so I thought I'd use one. These switches are the filters. I've forgotten which is which. Um, I think that's the low filter. I think that's the high filter. I don't know, I'll have to play this tape back and find out. And this is the game that feeds the um, the AGC so I can have it all the way down on. Or I could turn it way up and have it as sensitive, have it really sensitive, as you can see, or rather, as you can hear, with lots and lots of feedback. So I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. All in all, I think it's a pretty successful experiment. I'm just going to turn my amplifier off so it doesn't feed back at all. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let's just get a close-up of the thing before I go. I haven't put any proper jacks on it or anything. I might do that at a later date. But there we are. Now I'm going to turn it off and goodbye.